have uh, a, a much wider audience. I see him on Sox News. Uh, Gordon Chang, and I, I think it's your book. I have uh, several of your books, actually. One of the most important is The Coming Collapse of China. And you have a more recent book as well, uh, the uh, standoff, of course, between North Korea and the United States. Um, Gordon, tell us your main talking points about your book and how they can obtain it. Oh, I, thank you so much. Um, I wrote a book called Losing South Korea. It's, it's a booklet from Encounter Books. It's, it's a very short work. Uh, what I'm trying to do is just alert the American people to the fact that Moon Jae-in, the president of South Korea, is very anti-American, very pro-North Korean. And he is our ally. Um, the people of South Korea are very pro-American, um, but uh, their president, uh, who really comes from an era of the 1960s, which was a time when America was viewed as uh, standing with the dictators in, North, in South Korea, which wasn't true. But nonetheless, uh, he comes from a generation that is anti-American. And so we have a real problem because Moon wants to merge South and North Korea together, and he wants to eliminate democracy in the South. Really? So what does he want, a socialist republic like North Korea? Well, he um, is talking about some sort of confederation with North Korea, which would be one government, uh, one, one country, two governments. It's a proposal that the North Koreans have been making since the time of Kim Il-sung, the founder of North Korea. Right. Um, Moon is very much, though, um, in the mold of uh, being a Korean nationalist. And so he is not terribly concerned about protecting uh, South Korea. Really? So he's more interested in unification, even if they end up with losing autonomy and even a uh, representative democracy. Yes, well, he, he doesn't really believe in democracy from all that we can tell. He was an anti-democracy campaigner um, during, um, you know, decades ago. But it looks like that was really just a stalking horse for leftism. So uh, you left really the, the book about the, that you just mentioned. You mentioned the title really quickly. I'm going to uh, Google it. And, of course, you have also your website, which is, what's your website address, uh, Gordon? It's uh, www. G-O-R-D-O-N-C-H-A-N-G dot com. GordonChang dot com. I'll post up that link. And the name of the book so I can find it on, say, Amazon. What's the name of the book again? Losing South Korea. It's from Encounter Books. Encounter Books, right? Encounter. E-N-C-O-U-N-T-E-R. Yeah. yeah, I'm just pulling it up. You can actually find it on Amazon. I did in like two seconds. It's a paperback. It's only seven bucks. Uh, Losing South Korea and Counter Books. It was published in uh, March 26, 2019. Uh, this is important uh, material. Um, <clears throat> what's going on right now is Trump is negotiating. I have a feeling he's starting to get some information from you uh, to, uh, to consider in his negotiations. I have, of course, I had above top secret clearance, so I actually still have contacts inside the Pentagon and Homeland Security and elsewhere. And we know that the nukes that uh, North Korea has, actually, are from Rosatom, which is outside Moscow. They are not homemade nukes. They're Russian. And uh, people need to understand that North Korea uh, was originally a satellite of the former Soviet Union, or one, in a sense, the last satellite. Uh, and uh, this dynasty, which, you know, he's the third generation of the dynasty, um, is at the behest of the Russians and the Chinese who are supporting their economy by buying things and violating the, the treaty agreement. So... Um, I honestly think until he, Trump deals with Russia and China, he's never going to get really anything sorted out with North Korea. What do you think? Well, I think that's absolutely right. You know, President Trump had a very successful North Korea policy through May of last year because um, we had a vigorous enforcement of the sanctions, and the North Koreans were the only ones making concessions. Um, but then President Trump changed tack. He wanted to try to create this favorable environment where Kim would feel secure enough to give up his nukes. Right. And since that time, we've been the only ones making concessions, and we haven't been vigorously enforcing the sanctions. Right. Until we go back to that effective policy um, of hammering the Chinese, the Russians, and the South Koreans, making sure they don't violate sanctions, until we do that, we're just not going to have a successful North Korea policy. Exactly. And, of course, the nuclear showdown uh, book is also out there, and that's been published here recently, the two by... Uh, and it shows nuclear showdown North Korea takes on the world. Uh, people need to understand North Korea actually has missiles that can go as far as the United States now. Uh, in uh, February of 2018, I actually had a, uh, a satellite dish technician that came over. We worked at CENTCOM, 
And after he heard my security clearance and I told him some intel stuff, he actually did a data download about how he was working there and knew for up to three years that North Korea could strike North America. And uh, I had him on my show, I actually had him on my show in his actual real name. And I converted also to a video, and he kind of got a little freaked out to the fact we had such a huge audience out there because people are watching us, including the intel agencies. And I'm hoping they are because there's a lot of good people in the intel agencies and even in government that won't cross certain red lines. I'm hoping both people in both parties need to realize how dangerous this is, that if we don't start getting tougher with Russia and China, we could have U.S. cities hit with an EMP weapon I call the weapon of indignation or a nuke hitting our military bases or population centers or our allies, you know, like in, uh, in Guam, and, or Japan. In fact, we gave the theater air defense system to Japan, but it may not be adequate to actually knock out all the potential missiles coming from, from uh, North Korea, which are basically Russian. And the Chinese are totally supporting them financially, so both Russia and China are actually, this is their proxy for a proxy uh, nuclear arms race, isn't it? Yeah, well, it certainly is. And, you, you know, you're certainly right. The North Koreans have a missile that can reach all of the continental United States. They actually right. tested it in late November 2017, and it, uh, from all that we can tell, it was fired on a very high trajectory. But if right. it were fired on, a, fired on a more normal one, it could reach Key West. Yeah, anywhere. You're talking about Key West, Florida, right? Yes. Yeah, exactly. So uh, the talking points in your nuclear showdown book... Uh, if you were advising Trump, you'd say you'd have to start getting tougher on your sanctions against him. Um, I would throw a few out, and I just want to see if you, if you think these are reasonable. Number one, uh, we're having a trade war with China. I think we should actually just uh, stop trading with China altogether. Uh, oh, we, yeah. should also, we should also make sure that no companies are moving to China that have to surrender their technology uh, to China. And I think this is where Senator uh, Rubio is quite correct. Uh, the third thing is we have to make sure that we denuclearize the South China Sea uh, islands that the Chinese have built up. And that uh, this Belt and Road program, which sounds good on the surface, and we've had Harley Schlanger on pushing it for the Roosh Foundation, there's no such thing as a good communist. Uh, we thought 30-some years ago when we gave them access to the World Trade Center that, uh, organization that they would become more democratic. They've actually gotten worse. In fact, uh, Xi has actually written personal documents wanting to be emperor for life that by 2025 he wants to control artificial intelligence and manufacturing of all consumable goods in the world. He wants to completely replace us. And again, we have an innovative economy, so that's how bad things are, and I don't think people would kind of grasp this. Tell us what you'd tell Trump if you're giving him advice on what to do with China and Russia now. Well, if I were advising him, you know, I, my view is, is the same as yours, that um, the United States should not have a trade deal with China. Because right. China has violated every trade um, deal that they have entered into it with us. Right. Their trade violations are becoming worse, um, and they've been in the World Trade Organization now for almost two decades. They right. were seated in 2001 in December. Also, you know, they've been stealing more and more U.S. intellectual property. You right. know, we don't know exactly the number, but it's in the hundreds of billions of well, dollars we, a year. We know so there's 440,000 uh, students and so on that are acting as spies. I think they should be deported. All these students should be deported back to China. I think we need to start understanding that uh, China uh, needs to be put outside the nuclear envelope. And also, we got to make sure that we start seizing the finances of the PLA billionaires. Thirty of the last 30, 25 years, 80 percent of the new billionaires are communist Chinese. And the way they uh, have their predatory means of taking over corporations that move there to put up, let's say, wind vane power generations or whatever, is obscene. And uh, they're spying and stealing uh, innovation because they don't have an innovative economy. I found I have relatives in China, and what they told me is if you innovate in China, you can end up in a Lao Dai prison camp and be tissue typed. There's 20,000 Lao Dai prison camps. Uh, Communist China is a horrifying place. It's not just 3.5 million under citizens. There's 13 million plus, and it's increasing daily with WhatsApp, our tech company, working with the Communist Chinese, and they're even talking about bringing the social rating system back here. And you can't not only get on a plane or train, you can't get health care or even drugs or care if you have a physical problem in China. It's against the law. You can't get a job. Uh, it's People don't understand it's the most horrendous thing right of a, out of a B-movie ever, and we're allowing it and collaborating with it by letting our tech companies work with China to do this, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Well, for instance, Google has um, three artificial um, intelligence operations in China, Two are, are joint ventures with China's two most prestigious universities, Peking University and Tsinghua <clears throat> University. 
And right. the third one is the Google AI Center in Beijing, which has been in operation since 2017. Um, and so there's a leakage of technology there. Um, you know, right. there's a lot of people who say well, we should allow this to continue, and, and there are some arguments for that, but I think on balance this involves a leakage of U.S. technology yeah. to China under circumstances that we shouldn't tolerate. So I, I, I believe yeah. that we should be closing <clears throat> these uh, cooperative yeah. ventures. I think we should close it down. I think we should completely block trade with China. The other thing is with the same with the Russians. The Russians are extremely aggressive. There are Russian missiles in Lao Chila Island and the Punta Huerte in Nicaragua. Uh, we should seize the bank accounts of Putin and all his oligarchs. We should actually remove the nukes and their oh, two-mile-long Antonov-124 runways in Lao Chila Island uh, in the Lesser Antilles, which is like the Russian previous attempt in Grenada in 1983 and in 1961 when uh, John W. Spring was on my show on Tuesdays, was a whistleblower, and then a YouTube jet flew over and actually proved that he was correct as a geography, a very brilliant geographer. Uh, luckily, he didn't come up public or they would have killed him because he did kill a Russian person. They say he was a spy that released the information. But what's happening in Russia, Putin thinks the most dangerous thing that happened in the 20th century was the loss of the Soviet Union. The only way the Soviet Union can come back is if they did nuclear defeat us with a weapon of indignation, knock out our power grid, or even worse. And... Uh, Putin is dangerous, the Russians are dangerous, and we can deal with them. They, uh, we, we really should be doing some much more aggressive things with things like Venezuela. I know a lot of people say we should just back off. No, we should blockade the oil coming from Venezuela to Cuba because Cuba supplies a private guard around Maduro and 46,000 troops and special forces. China has 35,000 special forces in Venezuela, and we have uh, Hezbollah, and Russian, uh, sorry, and, and Muslim terrorists actually in Venezuela too, trying to support their regime. It's a disaster waiting to happen, and they're in our back doorstep. It's a, you know violating the uh, our previous policies about in our sphere of influence, allowing potential enemies to be sitting on our back doorstep. It's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, well, it certainly is. I mean, Venezuela is a threat not only to us but also to its neighbors. And right. as you say, the Chinese and the Russians are there. And, right. um, you know, at this particular time, it, we would be much better off if the Maduro regime fell and that uh, uh, Juan Guaido, um, who I think is the legitimate president of uh, Venezuela, would actually be allowed to govern. Right. I think the easiest way to do it is just simply blockade the Venezuelan no oil to Cuba. Because once the Cuban lights go, because there's a news article today in Drudge, once the lights go out, Cuba will withdraw its forces and Maduro will fall. So it's that simple. Uh, we also need to notify the Chinese, Chinese we're going to close off trade if you don't remove your entire troops right now. And the fact that we're kind of always giving to North Korea or to China or Russia is ridiculous. Russia apparently also is very angry that we put uh, the Aegis uh, anti-missile system in Eastern Europe after we uh, they disallowed the INF treaty that Russia has violated multiple times. And uh, the Russians say, well, you can physically attack us. No, the Aegis is an older anti-missile system. The Russians have got intermediate-range hypersonic cruise missiles that can travel at Mach 7 to Mach 9, 7 to 9,000 miles plus per hour, and can change course before impact. And uh, Putin, if, if they had a recent accident, because the way the Russians engineer, if they have an accident and blows up all the engineers and technicians, they don't care. They just keep rebuilding. So the accident a few weeks ago in Semipolitinsk was another attempt to keep on upgrading their technology, and it blew up in their face. Putin's a dangerous maniac. He put this out in videos in April of 2018, and uh, he wants the Soviet Union to come back. That's why he hates the idea we have Aegis systems in Romania. So what would you say to Putin uh, to survive Trump? What would you say to him now? Because I think, honestly, we need to start being a lot more tough with Russia, shouldn't we? Well, we should, and we can, because, you know, Russia has an economy that's $1.6, $1.7 trillion in gross domestic product. Our economy last year was $20.5 trillion. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of room for leverage on that. Um, and I, I think that, you know, just looking at the limited matters, we should insist that they get out of Ukraine. Exactly. Yeah, they're going to stop trying to be in Ukraine. Isn't that awful? Back in a moment with more with Gordon Chang, and we're going to have all his books up and links to them. Get those books. It's required reading. If you listen to the show, you need the experts, and his books are important. 
Do you have difficulty taking supplements? Are you searching for a high-quality, complete nutritional drink that your whole family will love? Nutramedical's Life Support has arrived. All of your daily nutritional requirements in one quick, delicious drink. Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support is a proprietary blend of vegan protein, activated vitamins, essential minerals, amino acids, probiotics, green tea, digestive enzymes, anti-inflammatories, cancer prevention, detoxification, and much more. Your body will high-five you for this one. Life Support is the best complete nutritious meal replacement on the market. Whether you are an elite athlete, have post-operative challenges, chronic illness, elderly, or a family that just wants a quick, delicious drink, try Dr. Bill Deagle's Life Support for optimized nutrition in one great-tasting smoothie. Just add cold water, almond milk, fruit, or anything else you like. Nutramedical's Life Support. Try our great-tasting chocolate or vanilla today. Call 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Nutramedical.com for the whole family. Legacy Emergency Foods is the top recommendation from Dr. Bill Deagle for the lowest oxygen concentration, the largest entrees, the highest amount of protein, the most varied entrees as well, and the longest food storage life. Nothing like Legacy Emergency Foods, and if you place a regular monthly order, you get 20% off and free shipping. Do get emergency foods for your supply for preparation and get it from Legacy Foods. Contact Dr. Bill Deagle for the link at Nutramedical.com. Go to the Shop by Products link and drop down message at Nutramedical.com and then place your orders for regular emergency food for yourself and your family. Nothing like emergency food if the power goes out and you can't go to grocery stores or if there's an emergency or a national crisis. So Nutramedical.com, top recommendation, Legacy Foods. Nutramedical.com, go to the Shop by Products and drop down menu and stay well with Nutramedical every day of your life. Lumen Photon Therapy, infrared light, far and near infrared is extremely important for pain control, simulation of nitric oxide, improved perfusion, and stem cell activation and reduction of cytokines. Dr. Bill uses it for pain control, for regeneration techniques, for organ regeneration, and for stimulation of your stem cell activity. Uh, this amazing uh, lumen photon therapy this year will probably have an additional device with frequency therapy during the on phase of the lights. To obtain a lumen photon machine, contact Dr. Bill at Nutramedical.com, 888 8871 He'll prescribe it with you, providing nutraceuticals to help with your regeneration, healing, and pain control. Nothing like the lumen photon therapy for uh, easy therapy for your eyes, your pain, your joints, regeneration of organs, detoxification of the body, Get a Lumen Photon Machine from Dr. Bill Deagle, Nutramedical.com, 888-212-871. Stay well with Nutramedical. The Sonic Life Machine is one of the most amazing therapies that Dr. Bill provides. It is the best sine wave exercise machine on the planet, doing whole body vibration, opening up the muscle to reduce insulin resistance, improve perfusion, release stem cell therapies throughout the body, and epigenetically stimulate the body to release DNA activated. Uh, the epigenetic therapy with the uh, sine wave curve of frequencies given for atomic resonance but Linus Pauling for minerals and amino acids stimulates the production of messenger RNA to correct structural protein enzyme deficiency for almost every illness. There's nothing like the sine wave therapy for improving body healing for exercise but also the epigenetic treatments Dr. Bell can provide can help neutralize frequencies for disease states and illness. Get a Sonic Life machine through Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com. Contact us at Nutramedical.com, 888-212-8871, or go to the website Nutramedical and give us a contact. Dr. Bill is available to help you get well with Nutramedical. Need a powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens? Allison Med is the powerful universal pathogen killer's latest advance of German-sourced Allison, enzymatically stabilized to clear the body of bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, and parasites. It penetrates body biofilms and is non-toxic to tissues. Pathogen resistance cannot develop for long-term body-optimized wellness. Clear stealth pathogens that promote autoimmune disease, cancer, and vascular inflammation and plaque and promote healing of tissues. Now pathogen-free. With 200 milligrams more power than prior Alamed, you can't get a more powerful ally to fight daily bugs and serious pathogens. Give your body what it needs. Allison Med. Order Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutridyne at 888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. That's 1-888-212-8871 or Nutramedical.com. And listen to the Nutramedical Report on the Genesis Radio Network with open lines every weekday. Nutramedical.com, bringing nutrition and medicine together. 
and welcome back. And uh, we want to mention the uh, Twitter page for Gordon uh, Chang, this amazing author, is uh, at Gordon, G-O-R-D-O-N, C. Chang, or at, at Gordon C. Chang. <clears throat> Let's go through the, the books again. Of course, we've got the coming collapse of China, and, of course, there's lots of, biome- uh, of uh, metric things. My, my sister actually speaks three, all the different dialects of Chinese. Her husband's Chinese from Shenzhen. Her mother actually swam across Kowloon Bay, almost in shark-infested waters, and survived and emigrated to Canada. So my youngest sister is actually married to a man from China. They have very smart children. Their daughter actually uh, finished her master's at 13 in, at Princeton in nuclear physics and at 18 in her PhD. She designed a system for storing power in uh, underground <coughs> uh, <coughs> air chambers. And uh, she spoke, and she was actually a journalist in Hong Kong for years. Um, <coughs> and she understands things specifically. Uh, my, my sister Gertrude or Trudy. And what people need to understand here is I have inside contacts in China even long before, you know, 20 years ago when the Lao Dai prison camps were, were literally tissue typing people. Back in 1987, they tried to recruit me when I worked in Georgia to actually work for a, a, a network of doctors that were actually recruiting and taking patients because I worked in the trauma and burn unit in Georgia. And they actually had networks of people overseas, so a lot of time if you get put into a lot of prison camp in China, you get tissue typed, and if your number comes up because your tissue type is needed by someone with your specific tissue type in, say, Europe or whatever, uh, you're literally carved up on the spot, and your organs flown out in a jet directly through to those facilities in Europe or North America to actually transplant your organs. People don't know this. This is actually run by the same people, SAD, Special Activity Division of the CIA, that runs the drug cartels and runs the organ trade and the human trade as well. It's all synced together. And by the way, we are totally collaborative with communist China and, and America. Why do we let carfentanil come in from China, for example? Why can't we shut them down? I, I mean, I'm sure you've got answers to this, but these books are essential. People get this truth. The nuclear showdown in North Korea takes on the world. And your uh, latest little shorter book called Losing South Korea by Gordon C. Chang, and you mentioned this in the last uh, segment, um, where are we going? I mean, I, I think we actually have people that are really selling out the country, aren't they? Well, you know, we do have people, you know, Wall Street um, in the business and the chambers of commerce in the multinationals who want a collaborative relationship with China um, for business purposes. Um, but that, I think, undercuts the American national security. And so, um, as you say, we should be cutting off our business links with China. We should be making ourselves less vulnerable to China, not more vulnerable. And that is, a, I think, a, the number one priority because China is the number one threat. Right. Yeah, in fact, it, it, the imminent threat is not global climate change. And by the way, most of the pseudo-environmentalists, I was actually a charter member of Greenpeace 50 years ago as an oceanographer, along with Patrick Moore, who we'll have in the program. I worked out in the oceans uh, with Woods Hole, Massachusetts, and the Bedford Institute uh, out of Halifax and also Boston, the Woods Hole, Woods Hole Massachusetts, uh, with uh, Harvard. So people need to understand what's going on is very vicious, and China is the imminent threat. Uh, and if they get their control of manufacturing, and they get control of AI, and actually are collaborating with, say, large tech companies like Google, they're going to bring their social rating systems back to America at some possible future presidency or local legislations. And, of course, they're already trying to, to remove our guns with red flag laws. They should have red box laws to get people who are mentally ill that shouldn't have anything sharper than a pencil. But trying to control me, so I had, don't, we should get rid of Concealed carry permits, uh, blocking in, in different parts of the country. We should have a, a everybody anywhere can carry a concealed carry. We should make sure that people who are mentally ill do not get near anything dangerous, and we should advance more non-lethal weapons like these pepper spray ball guns and other things that people can use or can be automated. So you can't go into a shopping center like the one in uh, West Texas and kill people. Uh, what we have is a situation where. The Democrats on one side, but there's also a lot of bad people on the on the right too. The PNAC people, like John Lightning Bolt, I call them, and these people are not facing reality, are they? Well, I mean, I don't talk about domestic politics, um, right. But obviously, something is wrong. Well, it's international. I'm talking about what Lightning Bolt always had disagreed with Trump on almost every international political thing he was doing, especially you know with Afghanistan and North Korea and whatever, uh, and. Uh, Trump's trying to always negotiate. And to be honest with you, uh, he needs to be a lot tougher. I mean, I don't know when he's going to get it. Maybe after he gets reelected, but he's going to have to get it that 
trying to negotiate with communist China and Russia with the way he's, the policy he's doing now and calling him a real good guy and then get along with Xi, he needs to be much more realistic. And of course, Xi, if he loses power as a, as a dictator of communist China, he's probably not going to live very long because you don't go out of politics and go and retire in some kind of nice high-end you know, environment. Uh, you retire to the grave. I mean, it's a dangerous place, communist China, isn't it? Well, it certainly is. I mean, Xi Jinping has deinstitutionalized the Communist Party. By that, I mean he's gotten rid of rules, and those rules constrained him in terms of a rise for power, but they right. also protect him um, on the downside. He's gotten rid of those rules, which means that he has a very low threshold for risk. Yeah, in other words, uh, he's at higher risk, even though he's gotten rid of the rules that would otherwise protect him. And, uh, of course, most of the people in the, uh, in the senior PLA members are in their late 70s now, so they're soon getting into this, you know, what I call pre-dementia time, or just so disabled they can't continue to rule. And the younger, are basically engineers, 85% of the politicians in China are engineers or scientists, and they've often trained elsewhere and then come back to China and live under totalitarianism. They're not happy. These are normal people over there who've come, they're smart, they come back to China and they go into a totalitarian matrix, which is actually getting worse by the day rather than better, isn't it? Yeah, no, it certainly is. Under Xi Jinping, China's moved from authoritarianism back to a semi-totalitarian state. And you point out the social credit system. When they have that fully in place, perhaps by next year, um, it will be the totalitarian nightmare that everyone worries about. Yeah, now you know that under Barack Obama and other people, they funded millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to actually hack into consciousness. I got an opportunity to work on MS Tissue Brain Bank and Electron Microscopy Lab at UCLA 42 years ago and turned it down because they wanted me to work with DARPA. And they were trying to create super soldiers and directly genetically engineer them and wanted me to be able to hack into their cortex using special advanced uh, mathematical technology and supercomputers to actually hack into the human cortex and actually have bidirectional control of their thought and sights, sights and actually firing off ordinances by thought. They had an F-14 fighter in Dr. Tortolot's office at the Santa Monica VA Hospital, cost $26 million plus dollars, where it could fly the jet and fire off ordinances by thought with the icons on the, on the canopy of the, of the, of the jet mock-up. And what people don't understand is this technology is decades ahead of what people think, and the powers that be behind it are insane. I mean, they're not normal human beings. And uh, the, the, a lot of people are in secret orders, a lot of them are much more globalist in their viewpoint, whether they're on the left or the right, but ultimately want totalitarian control. They want to control who you are and where you are, or down to a cubic meter. They want to control your thoughts and what you buy and sell, and what you post on any social media. They want to totally control it. Um, and this, is, this happens in China, by the way. They won't just be restricted to China. The tech companies that are doing this want to spread it to Europe and to Mars America, don't they? Well, you know, uh, it Tech companies want to make money, and they're willing to do anything. And um, that's right. why, they, you know, the United States needs to prohibit their dealings with China. Um, you know, it's, it's not up to Microsoft. I mean, Microsoft, for instance, mm -hmm. was um, carrying the water for Huawei Technologies, the Chinese telecom equipment manufacturer, right. which was awful. Um, right. But it's not up to Microsoft to determine U.S. national security policy. But it is, that's the job of the President of the United States, and we need to prohibit those types of dealings which undermine American security. Right, but now Huawei, talk about Huawei, because you know a lot about Huawei. H-U-A-W-E-I. Huawei actually has all these chips, they're buying, they were not buying from American manufacturers, but they're trying to take over AI and upgrade to the next levels of cell phones and so on. Uh, Huawei is a very dangerous thing because they can hack in and control people's data transfer and everything and personal credit scores and everything. Um, I, I think that we, we're, the way we're playing with Huawei is, is kind of dangerous. I think we need to be a lot tougher with them, don't you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, Huawei is um, leading 5G, the fifth generation of, right. of wireless communications. And I think that we need to do all we can to cripple that company because it will not only steal data, but if it does control 5G networks, which looks like it's going to, then they'll be also able to... Um, you know, basically control the devices in the world because they will be connected to what we now call the Internet of Things, where all devices right. are connected. And Huawei will have the ability to do that unless we stop them. We well, have a back door, in other words, basically. Yes. Which is, by the way, what uh, Microsoft and also Apple have a back door that was forced on them by the no such agency and the other uh, groups. This means that the Chinese will actually have a back door directly into the Supernet. And the Supernet, by the way, is not just the Internet of Things. 
you as a human being become one of those things because it can hack into your epigenetics and even your DNA and even like a Project Crimson Mist, it can hack into your cortex and insert ideas or thoughts. For example, in Japan, it's been the law for 30 years plus. You can have uh, subsonic sounds actually marketing sodas, at a, a, you know, in Japanese. People don't understand that eventually these tech companies want to be able to hack in and have literally turn your, your brain into a, the holodeck like in Star Trek. And, you know, that's their general objective. They can bypass your, your eyes and ears and actually directly connect to your cortex. And you have to understand that they, first they want layers. They want the first layers to know what you buy and sell, just like Amazon. But eventually they want to know not only where you are to a cubic meter, but be able to actually control you in every possible way. It literally is what I call the worldwide cyber cage. And, of course, the global control freaks, it doesn't matter what label, whether they're communist Chinese or globalist bankers or whatever, it doesn't matter what label you put on them. They're all kind of like of the same cabal, aren't they? Well, you know, that, that's sort of beyond what I know. But, um, yeah. you know, this is a dangerous world, especially when you marry technology and totalitarianism. Yeah, well, you see, the Chinese are not stupid people, but you see they're dominated by a totalitarian government, and I'm sure they don't want it there in China. China the Chinese philosophy and Chinese people naturally, you know, had the silk trail uh, to trade with the West for thousands of years. In fact, my family on my mother's side were the, the Bashes owned the largest caravan from Damascus, Syria to China, and we'd go twice a year to China, and literally my great-great-grandmother 150 years ago walked to China twice a year. People don't understand, because we had trade, China was not interested in domination. It was only the, the, the Mongols that came into to Paris. Uh, the Chinese, when they have trade and they have a reasonable kind of philosophy, they don't have a, a dint toward totalitarianism, but since communist China, which was set up by the British, the Mao Zedong, with the British help, and the weapons are actually shipped out of America to Mao Zedong, uh, we have a situation now where, um, where China now is getting more and more totalitarian rather than less since they've been in the WTO. I don't see it getting better. In fact, under Xi, it's actually gotten considerably worse, hasn't it? Yeah, well, it, that's certainly true. Um, because he does believe that the Communist Party should have absolute control over society. And he right. also believes that he should have absolute control over the party. Right, and they build a half a million warehouses to store material, everything from wood from South America to all kinds of uh, strategic minerals. And the Communist Chinese want to control the manufacture of all consumable goods in the world by 2025. They actually have a policy which is written up by Xi that they want to control AI, which is literally what I call the cyber beast, that would control all artificial intelligence and all the internet systems in the world. And Huawei is the back door for that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I, I do have to go, but uh, you know, you're yeah, I appreciate like it. Yeah, so you did Huawei. an amazing job. We have another minute or so left, so I want your closing comments. Again, your Twitter page is uh, at Gordon G. Chang. Last comment by yourself, Gordon. Go ahead. Yeah, this is a very consequential time, and China is challenging the U.S. across the board. And we want to keep our society. We have no choice but to respond to Xi Jinping's challenge to us. I really appreciate your wisdom. Your books are amazing. Uh, we will have you back on probably at least once a month to discuss these things as it upgrades. We hope that it'll seep through to Donald Trump and the government to actually start doing something much more aggressive to deal with China, Russia, and the proliferation of nuclear weapons and AI technology that tries to take over the world because this beast, these beast systems and so on, are literally at our door now, and you're the whistleblower telling us the nuclear showdown with North Korea is really with Russia, and the losing South Korea we have with a, um, a person, Mr. Moon, who doesn't really support America. He's an ally, but he supports reunification, which is moving toward a totalitarian Korea. Nasty, hey? Very nasty. Well, thank you very thank, much. Thank you very much, Gordon. It's an amazing show, and, of course, we're going to be joined in a moment with Rob Roselli, his website, of course, is Box of Sunglasses. So, again, I'm going to repeat. The books are Losing uh, South Korea by Gordon C. Chang. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon. I have. And uh, Nuclear Showdown, North Korea Takes on the World. And, of course, book going back uh, over a decade now, The Coming Collapse of China. Of course, the biometrics are the Chinese have literally uh, aborted so many female fetuses or stuffed rice in their mouth. They, they themselves say they have an excess of 36.5 million males. It's probably more like Mao Zedong said back in the 40s that they have an army they could make an army of 200,000, 1,000, or 200 million. They probably have around 100 million excess males. The only way they can have a family is to get a woman from, uh, from the Middle East or from uh, some other Muslim uh, mother country. 
Are you still looking for that one iodine that you can really trust? A medical doctor endorsed product that is backed by honest research and true integrative science. Then search no further. Go to Nutramedical.com for Dr. Bill Deagle's Nutriodine, proven time and time again to be the very best iodine available for you. Nutriodine is the only Tesla activated monatomic plasma iodine in the world. It optimizes mitochondrial function and generation of new mitochondria from totally neutral the venom from a desert recluse spider bite in Southern California to eliminating malaria parasites reported by medical missionaries in Central India. Dr. Bill's Nutriodine is simply the most powerful healing formula there is. Nutriodine clears the body of all known pathogens, restores it to an alkaline state, and even promotes stem cell regeneration. Order Dr. Bill's Nutriodine today at 888-212-8871 or visit us online at Nutramedical.com. Red Deer Velvet DR is an amazing new product with a patent to preserve 300 biomolecules and six hormones, the same as fetal life, where you don't age at all. The state of fetal life allows the 300 biomolecules and six hormones produced by the placenta to be supportive of the regeneration uh, of tissues and organs with maximum apoptosis uh, changing the tissue and organ structure of a fetus. That's why if fetal surgery is performed, there is no scar. Taking uh, two to three capsules twice a day with oncomycin, myco D2, uh, provides an amazing support for regeneration of any tissue and organ in the body and even advanced stem cell therapy support treatment. Do uh, get Nutramedical's Red Deer Velvet DR from Dr. Bill Deagle at Nutramedical.com, N-U-T-R-I Medical.com, 888-212-8871. Stay well and stay young with Nutramedical. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Deagle, MD, A-A-E-M, A-C-A-M, A-4-M, of Nutramedical.com, and a consultant providing email advice free on advanced protocols for your optimized wellness and advanced technologies to heal and regenerate you. You can contact us at Nutramedical.com, that's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com, or 888-212-8871. You get free email starter protocols of our top medical-grade nutraceuticals, initial testing, and recommendations for your own primary doctor to do, as well as recommendations to give you an idea of a consultation and a full protocol to try to help you regenerate your tissues, heal naturally without the use of toxic polypharmacy. I can send test kits to you as well anywhere in the world and provide you recommendations to referral of specialty clinics worldwide. So contact me, Dr. Bill Deagle, at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I-Medical.com or 888-212-8871. At Nutramedical.com, we have the most amazing drinks with the best both feel, highest quality bionutrient uh, exposure to your body to heal and regenerate, and the uh, most powerful persistence of nutrients to heal your body dramatically. We have Ageless, which makes you age less, which repairs your DNA, extends your telomeres, etc. We have Life Support that detoxes phase 2 detox pathways, glucuronidation, sulfation, and methylation pathway support. We have glycemics that blocks the carbohydrate absorption, helps with diabetes or weight loss, and as well helps with people that are trying to build up muscle. Using things like our um, special formulas from Dr. Wolf called Mega Muscles Between Meals along with Sports Energy Light. We have the amazing Nutri Complete, the most complete red and re greens drink in the world with the best mouth feel and flavor. You can often mix it too with Vitamin Mineral Mix, which is our fruit flavored mix power of vitamin minerals. Stay well with Nutramedical every day. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. And uh, we have Rob Roselli. Welcome back, Rob. Boxofsunglasses.com. Tell us about the latest on your analysis of 9-11 and how little truth has gotten out to the public. Ah, he's coming. So, yep, we're trying to get Rob Roselli, who's going to be on for this last segment. <clears throat> so that was an excellent uh, two segments with Gordon Chang. And, of course, we'll have all the links up to his books. And, of course, his website, which we'll have also. He's an amazing blog 
we'll have that all posted up so you can actually go directly to go to deagle-network.com uh, pull up all the links we have do also links for news reports I do a news blog which includes Nutramedical news about our latest products and protocols and so on and also a, uh, a news review of Drudge and other sites where I pull up all the main news items and make a comment on all the different news stories. So you'll see that anywhere from about 8 to, say, 30 minutes, usually it's between 8 and 14. Uh, well, it's easy to pick up on YouTube, and uh, I usually have it completed before I even get all the other things uploaded and posted everywhere, including our Rio.co station. So important to understand what's going on there. Uh, so... Uh, we have, of course, uh, Rob Roselli, who will be here shortly, and we're still trying to chase him down. He said he was confirmed for, for this uh, segment. Uh, I want to give some of the latest announcements. Of course, we have our new peptides, which are available. We have our new epigenetic frequency therapy. We have the, the MAGI pulse magnetic field pad system under uh, $400. We have, of course, the new uh, uh, peptide price is $15 cheaper. We have our amazing Nutrimeds we've added recently, our GABA T2. We are always adding new nutraceuticals. I'm looking at a specific type of super absorbed form of curcumin that we may be adding shortly. We always have a super high quality new one that's been proven to be superior to non steroidal anti inflammatories, our Cell Defense Plus. And we have the article posted up on Nutramedical where you can actually read the actual study comparing it to diclofenac. So you can see that already. Um, we have, of course, uh, the capability of doing um, conferences. I'm going to plan some conferences this uh, fall. And those conferences will post up, and people can actually watch them live free. And I'm not going to charge a cent for them. We will be posting conferences on health issues and conferences on geopolitical issues, and those will be probably on the weekend, on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon, live, and they'll also be archived up so people can watch them on Vimeo and on YouTube on our channels. If you go to our Shop by Products link um, on uh, Nutramedical.com, you can go down and find those link pages. But occasionally in the future, we may have some special ones that may be custom design that may be a small fee but right now I don't have any plan for that I want to make everything is free so it's easy for people to download and transfer uh, as well by the way we also transfer the shows and send the file over so they can be uploaded on independently on Josh Bernstein's YouTube channel who gets uh, hundreds of thousands of hits per month sometimes he says 1.5 million depending on the show or topic uh, we'll be doing some more videos with Josh Bernstein coming up as well uh, do we have our special guest Rob Roselli Ah, well, if he doesn't show up soon, he'll be gone. So we better keep calling him and just see what happens. Again, Rob's a busy guy, uh, like anybody, and it's live radio. Uh, I want people to know that uh, I, I'm just going to cover some of the issues I'm going to cover up on the news items coming up this uh, this year. We, of course, the uh, U.S. Attorney recommends proceeding with charges against McCabe. I heard a little beep sound. Do we have Rob now? Yeah, so again, we have the U.S. government is silently monitoring snake-like UFOs in space. Of course, a lot of this stuff is just our stuff. People don't want to know that. Uh, 450 miles of the wall is coming along nicely in Arizona, especially it starts. Uh, we have issues of well, Cuba's president warns against energy cutbacks are looming. I think we should just cut off the oil from Venezuela and that'll get the Cubans to get pull their 46,000 troops, including private guard against Maduro. So that would stop that immediately. And uh, Cuba is still a communist country, a proxy of Russia. Budget deficit smashes one trillion mark, the highest in seven years, and uh, there's ways of dealing with that. Uh, is it impeachment if Speaker Pelosi doesn't say so? <laughs> She's trying to say that uh, Nadler is not really moving forward. Of course, Nadler is. You know, uh, the ranking member listened to a debate on amendments as the panel approved procedures for upcoming impeachment. I mean, these Democrats are committing geopolitical suicide. They really are. We have a potential tropical cyclone uh, nine. Develops, but which way will it go? It looks like it may have a southern track, which may head toward the uh, Alabama and South Georgia, uh, but we're not sure. This can all be stopped with technology I know about. Torsion field imaging and low Earth orbit satellites. New cancer uh, treatment basically uh, uh, stops patients losing their hair during chemo. First off, do not go to regular chemo, you won't lose your hair. IPT cancer therapy. Uh, Coast Guard issues warning on charging uh, after a California boat fire. Remember, these lithium-ion batteries burn up in aircraft or on charging stations, so do not use these lithium-ion batteries. They're dangerous. Uh, uh, 
let's see. Um, we have a question from Tom in Georgia. Go ahead, Tom, with your question. Tom in Georgia, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Dr. Deagle. Uh, thank you for taking my call. I'll try to be quick in case, you, in case your guest gets through. <clears throat> Excuse me. But Jonathan Gray was on about two or three weeks ago. Right. And I tried to get a question in the last time he was in, but the question got kind of garbled in tra translation. Right. He made a statement in that, in that earlier show that I referenced that Satan's fall was only to the earth. Oh, yeah, we actually, we actually that answered that uh, on air, too. I went over that. Uh, no, no. Uh, uh, yeah, my question was, Dr. Deagle, if that's the case, well, it isn't. We how actually, do we uh, have galactic war? No, 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 you don't understand. No, no, you don't understand. He didn't say that. We actually answered that, uh, Tom. He, he didn't say that. What he said is that Earth is being watched by the uh, by the cosmos, by the universe. Uh, and yes, we did have an ancient galactic war. Evil and good were fighting an ancient galactic war, which did destroy Mars. Mars was a primary population center for the human race. I got uh, my security clearance and uh, were told by Space Command that we've had colony on Mars since 1982. The fact is we found ancient monuments to go back with human population going back tens of thousands, if not God knows more years. And so uh, you'll hear more from my show than anywhere else on the earth, including coast-to-coast uh, -coast radio and other places which didn't have security clearance to know the actual facts. But uh, no, I, basically... No, I, I listen quite often, Dr. Dick. Yeah, so what, what, yeah, what you have to understand is that... We had yeah, on uh, Pastor Pe uh, Butch Paul, and he dropped off at the end, and I called in a question that was relayed to you about Lyme's disease, and you, you expanded oh. on that for a long while, and I really appreciate that. Well, yeah, well, basically, I, you can present me with any health problem at all, uh, whether it's cancer, Lyme disease, detoxification, mercury, heavy metals, uranium. Um, the, the thing is, I do what's called advanced functional integrative medicine. I teach other doctors, don't charge them a cent, but I do charge for my time to review their case, and I do a video recording of it. Uh, I'm one of the primary teachers in the Academy of Anti-Aging Environmental Advancement in Medicine. Now, uh, I just had an interesting uh, email back uh, yesterday from a guy that wrote a, a attack article back in Nova Scotia. He's a senior journalist uh, at Dalhousie University called a, uh, a, a prophet in Clayton Park. Now, I'm going to try to get through to this character because he said he was angry with me because I said in an update in the blog, which hasn't been updated for years since... Uh, Alexander Bachman did an, an attack back on the guy and said, you know, you should pay attention to Deagle because I'm a whistleblower. And also my former patients in Denver who appreciated me because uh, he said crazy things where he did never interviewed me. But people need to know there are journalists out there that have an attitude. There are people even inside the so-called alternative media. For example, Alex Jones is not my friend. Alex Jones asked me to come back in 2007 from RBN. People have to understand that uh, he didn't want me to, to say his physicist didn't know what he was talking about when he says super thermite brought down the world trade, trade tender towers alone. No, it was brought down by nukes. The super thermite's like RDX, it cuts out the outside joints. The building was brought down by nukes, okay? I have the facts, I have the geological data from U.S. Geological, and I've tried to do radiation toxicology. This isn't open to anybody's I, I, opinion, I, I, by the way. I've, I've heard you expand on that. Yeah, this is not a, open to anybody's um, opinion. And the problem is, when you get death threats, when I was fired from CECOM, uh, in 1995, after the one of the guys had told me how they were exposed to uh, nuclear d explosions at the uh, Murrah building in Oklahoma City, uh, he got court-martialed and I got fired in death threats, okay? So this is not open to your opinion, okay? Now, a lot of people, and I, I got a kick out of the joke that somebody said on my uh, YouTube after the show yesterday, they said, uh, don't shut up, Deagle, keep talking. In other, words, in other words, they appreciated my fact that on my show, you're going to hear the whole facts, even if it puts me in grave danger. And by the way, the more I talk about the facts, the less likely they are to kill me because you would actually believe out there, even if you're kind of marginal, if they killed Eagle. Or I just disappear kind of suddenly and say, how did he go? How did he die? Believe me, the dark side doesn't want Eagle to talk. They're terrified no, I understand of me. That, Dr. Yeah, but and whether it's on health what? issues, because our health system is disgusting. I mean, they've got a, a room in Illinois now for babies that are basically dying babies that survive abortion. Where have we come so far? Uh, even years ago, even Canada, you couldn't abort beyond 20th week, so Dr. Mata tried to fiddle the paperwork for a baby that we're going to abort the next day in 1978 at the Calgary General Hospital. Okay, after I did my year of residency at the, at the, at the Vancouver, basically at the uh, uh, Vancouver General Hospital in Internal Medicine. And uh, people have to understand what's going on here. Everything is corrupt. Every church is corrupt, every political system is corrupt, every government's corrupt. 
uh, I call it the liocracy. And don't, you know, you can get beyond the labels of communism, socialism, whatever. But the, the beast is trying to get us into a totalitarian control matrix is both left and right leg. And even under the auspices of Trump, who's actually a good guy trying to do some things, he's ignorant. He needs to talk to me and to some of my co-hosts to actually get some wisdom. He doesn't have wisdom. I need to be his Samuel counsel. The fact is Donald Trump is pushing 5G network, genetically modified food, and, and, and uh, uh, toxic recycled water. In fact, hydrogen sulfide concentrated by your kidneys could even dissolve steel and porcelain toilets. So if you think Trump is doing the right thing, he's not. He's not negotiating hard enough, as we mentioned in the last two segments with Gordon Chang. He's not dealing with Russia properly. We could have an EMP attack on our cities from a high altitude weapon of indignation to knock out our power grid or just a cyber attack. They have a quarter million cyber attacking scientists in China and Tianjin just designed specifically to attack the uh, Internet system worldwide. And with Huawei and some of these other backdoors, they'll soon have access not just to our Internet and our purchases, but actually eventually to our biology and our cortex. People say, oh, no, they can't do that. I said, you know what, i got skill sets. They tried to recruit me years ago to do stuff that is beyond what the average person thinks has done, but a lot of this stuff it goes back decades. I've talked to the people who are working, for example, in research at various institutions going back to the late 1940s, putting electrodes in different parts of the brain in Britain, to researchers at uh, UC Irvine and other in University of Champlain, Illinois, and other ones, doing advanced research on how to control human thought patterns and biology by not only electrodes, but eventually transcranial multipulse magnetic field scalar technology. I'm an expert on this. I'm not on like a minor person. And i got to tell people, when they listen to my show, they're going to hear things they won't hear anywhere else. Not on Coast to Coast, not on Rents Network, not on Genesis Network, not on RBN. And none of them showed adequate respect to Dr. Deagle. I don't expect you to agree with me. I expect you to do two things. Ask better questions, pray on whether it's true or not, and then take action on what you believe, in whatever portion of what you believe. What do you think? Tom, what do you think? Ah, he's gone. Well, you know, it's important people understand when we bring on these experts, we're bringing out the spiritual side of it and the geopolitical side. And you can't really separate it because they're different layers. It's like Thessalonians. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and wickedness in high places. I don't think we're going to get robbed. It sounds like job, uh, uh, no answer, or try again. I guess uh, that was back a few minutes. Yeah, one minute to close. So do visit Nutramedical. Do support us. Get all of your nutraceuticals at Nutramedical.com. Don't wander around. If you're in my protocols like an hour one, go to Nutramedical.com if you want to know what to take and get a free starter protocol. Just contact us at Nutramedical.com or call 888-212-8871. I'll give you a pathway back to not only physical health, but spiritual health and the health of our nations. I am a, a repository of modern wisdom to save your health, your nation, and the souls of our brothers and sisters around the world in every nation and every skin color, etc. God bless America, and may we learn the truth of 9-11 and stop being ignorant. And may we get President Trump to start asking better questions. Thank you for listening. We're back tomorrow with The Firing Line. Get your questions into Michelle, Harley Schlanger from LaRouche, Dr. Betty Martini, and Dr. Joe Elid. Which is most appropriate.